Sports Talk United Team with Isaac and Crew. And we're going to talk about the, the Patriots and the Steelers. So, right now, you got Patriots as of the 13th minute and 6th second mark. It is 33 9 Patriots. Chris Hogan set a Patriots playoff record for 180 receiving yards. Uh, oh, my God. Tom Brady tied Joe Montana for most, most passing yards. No, Matt, most games with three-plus passing touchdowns in the playoff game. That is crazy because I'm looking at these stats. Tom, ben Roethlisberger, 239 yards, no touchdowns. Tony O'Brown, 66 yards, no touchdowns. De, uh, De, D'Angelo Williams, 34 yards, one touchdown. I don't see no – nowhere do I see Le'Veon Bell. LeGarrette Bunt, 21 yards, one touchdown. It's like everybody for the Packers has come together to beat these Steelers. And for for this is just I – I don't even know what to say anymore. I, I think it's going to be a shootout. Super Bowl – Super Bowl shootout. Because the Falcons, they, that's a high-powered offense. The Patriots, that's a high-powered offense. I, I just think it's going to be a – Boy, they're going to be toting that thing, boy. It, they, the ball will get thrown. Tom Brady will have his first show yards. So will Matt Ryan. I just want to see uh, Atlanta get their first. Uh, Julio get their first. Julio get his first Super Bowl. That's what, I, that, that's what I want to see. Now, Tom Brady, he's good. I'm just I'm just tired of seeing this dude in the playoffs. See how every year he's in the playoffs. Uh, this will be his ninth. This will be the Patriots' ninth time going to the Super Bowl. And Tom Brady has never threw an interception while playing against Mike Tomlin. So I, this was honestly destined to happen. Did I expect it for it to be like that? No, no one did. But I just think it's it's getting crazy. It is getting crazy out here. It's the play. Hello, I'm Cedric Boyd, and uh, I have a daughter that's in STL, still 40. What's up, boy? It's Hi, I'm a parent of um, my child that attends the STI 740. To be your own boss and be an entrepreneur like us. 
Male mentoring camp for young men. Male mentoring camp for young men. And that is. Hi, my name is Ron Curd, and uh, I'm here to talk about STI 740. Hi, my name is Candice Renee. STI 740 is a platform that I only dreamt about as a child. And then you have your child running around. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Aliyah Muhammad. What I like about STI 740 is it's a really open place where you can be yourself. It teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you confidence. My name is Brother Sagan Kirk, and one thing that I love about SCI 740 is that it opens your mind to all the brilliant opportunities that there is in your community. You know, a lot of times people uh, are just blind to it. They don't know how to um, focus on their craft. They don't know what venues and what avenues to broadcast their talent. And that's what we focus on at SCI 740. Um, hello, my name is Isaac Cherry, and uh, one thing that I like about SCI 740 is how it allows the youth to do various things that they wouldn't be able to do and it keeps them doing positive things instead of negative things. It allows them to control the media that controls people's minds.